All right, welcome to this new video. In this video, we're going to talk about standard deviations. A question that I get asked a lot is when you take a trade, where is your target? Of course, old lows for value gaps, but is there something extra you can use? And there comes standard deviations. First, going over the framework, then we're going over the FIP settings you need to use, then we're going to look at the examples of the charts, how you can use this together with your executions. So without further ado, let's dive in. The first step inside the framework is you need to FIP the manipulation lag. So first we need to find the manipulation lag inside your price action. And manipulation lag is the lag that sweeps liquidity before a market starts to shift. So in this example, the low towards this high, that is your manipulation. Then you need to create your Fibonacci from low to high to get your deviations. And let's go over the settings of the Fibonacci tool. I use zero, minus one, minus two, minus 2.5, and minus four. You can copy these settings. I use font size 10. And if you project your manipulation lag from high to low, then you have your standard deviation projection. And the point of interest are the area between minus two and minus 2.5, so right here. Inside the minus two and minus 2.5 area, this is your main target. And inside this area, you most of the time see a reversal or retracement. And if you don't see reversal or, or, or retracement inside this area, you can count on price to come to the minus four area. And how you can use this framework inside your trading? Use these targets overlapping with existing arrays. For example, old lows right here, or perhaps there's a for value gap here, or an order block or a breaker. If you overlap that together with the standard deviations, you have a very high probability setup. So now let's go into the charts to see some examples. Currently, we're looking at the NASDAQ at the one minute. And we just had a sell set of the curve and you want to see where price switch liquidity and then displays upwards. You see that happening right here. Then the first step we're going to need to do is find the manipulation lag. So what is the high that swept the low? That is this swing high right here. So this is your manipulation lag, high, and low. And then we project our FIP from low to high. These are the standard deviations. So the target is going to be the area between minus two and minus 2.5. Here we expect a retracement or reversal. If we don't get that, then the next target is going to be the minus four area. And now is the question, do we have overlapping PD arrays that can match these standard deviation targets? Well, first of all, inside this area, we have filler swings, swing high here, and also this swing high, a little above it. But, and here we have this order block, this value gap up here. And all these filler swings are also arrays. All these swing highs that didn't take out any liquidity are nice to, to target. So how you can frame this, so this, is, so this for value gap got respected. So in the next for value gap, you can pick your entry, target low hanging fruit, a swing high inside the standard deviation area, minus two, minus 2.5. And you can go for one to two or one to three. And let's see what price does. And it goes to the target. What's the potential re-entry here? Stings one and then goes. Let's see what price does inside this area. Do we retrace or reverse or do we just completely ignore it? There's no reaction inside this area. So then the next area will be the minus four. What is here on the one minute, there is an inversion value gap right here. And also a balanced price range up here, little up at the minus four. Price reaches this area, comes back. And eventually it reaches the minus four area. And that we are that we are disrespecting this area at the start could indicate that even this move lower, it's just a manipulation before the eventual target towards the minus four. Sometimes the manipulation like is, is bigger. So right here, this last swing high that swept the liquidity that makes this your manipulation lag. You put your FIP from low to the high. And let's zoom out right now. And the target 2.5 minus two is exactly inside this one hour SIBI. That means let's see if there is a potential entry inside of a value gap. There's a value gap here where you can take the entry. Let's see if price 
gives us that. Otherwise, you can enter later. You would have missed this entry. So let's see if we can get another entry. That's your value gap right here. So then you can take the entry from here towards the target, minus two. And you could target a one to two, one to three. I like to target one to three. And then let's see what price does. And it goes to the target. The last two examples were at the one minute, but you can also use this for the higher time frames. So now we are at the one hour time frame, and we just had a sweep of liquidity right here. So that means we're going to look at the last low that took out the liquidity, low, high, then your FIP from high to low, target minus two, minus 2.5. And is there a array that's overlapping inside this area? Yes, that is this swing low. And also the swing low below that. And let's see what price does after that. Displaces, comes back into this pre value gap and this balance price range together with the breaker and order block that moves lower towards the targets 2.5 and the lows right here. Now you understand the framework, how you can see the manipulation lag, how to project your FIP. Now it's important that you can combine this together with the earlier discussed PD arrays, but also with one of the most important daily bias concepts, and that is the accumulation manipulation distribution, the AMD, power of three. So right here, we have a Monday and Tuesday are kind of consolidating, and then you see a big leg lower, leaving all those fewer swings here. So probably going to be a manipulation leg. We manipulate inside this for value gap, also, we sweep this swing low here. And after that, we see movement upwards. See if we can get some more energy upwards. Yes, we do. So then there's an indication we want to go higher. Perhaps we want to take out fewer swings. And then you can use your manipulation leg. What's the last swing high that took out the low here? Last swing high is right here. This is your manipulation leg. Swing low, swing high. The target is going to be minus two, minus 2.5. So right here, there's no value gap here. We have a breaker and order block that are, that are respected. So this kind of rates are already holding. Now we have two value gaps, one here and one here. Take the entry in at the first one. Target is minus two. Do we have an overlapping array? No, we don't. We have this swing high. That's below the target, this low hanging fruit. And then you want to target a one to three or one to two. For example, let's do a one to three and let's see what price gives us. It comes back a few times in, into this five minute for value gap and then it goes higher. So here you combine your accumulation, manipulation, distribution together with concepts as order block, breaker, for value gap and the newly learned framework, the standard deviations. Thank you for watching this video. In this video, we discussed standard deviations and how you can use them to project the target of your trade. We went over Fibonacci settings, went over the framework, the examples, and I hope this further developed your understanding about these concepts. If you like this kind of videos, please like and subscribe, share it with all your trading friends, and I'll see you in the next one.